well bowled. But, uh, I know you lost the game at the pit, but uh, you've made an impression on the Australian team rider. Right? Um, yeah, I guess so. I thought we bowled really well in, in bits and then we bowled quite poorly in bits. But um, I think when we, were, when, we were on top, when we were on top of our game, it definitely uh, made a huge impression. Um, yeah, I mean, as a bowler, you always want something in the wicket, most definitely. Um, but that's out of our control. Let's see what we are dealt with. And we, we have to embrace whatever we're dealt with. So, yeah, try not to control anything that you can't really control. But as a bowler, most definitely would want something in the wicket. Um, yeah, look, it looked quite bad out there for the batters. Uh, the ball was absolutely, absolutely doing heaps. Um, but yeah. That's for us to reflect on. I don't think you could get uh, an answer right away. Um, it needs to be reflected on uh, thoroughly uh, so we know exactly where we went wrong so we can pinpoint. But for now, it's just about understanding that we were bad in certain areas and, and good in, in, in others. Um, and then breaking it down, that's uh, up to us as a team to analyze in the days to come. Um, I think that's a good question. I think the batting lineup that we have is quite inexperienced. In fact, the team that we have is r relatively inexperienced if you look at um, other cricketing nations around the world. Um, Dean Elgar is our most experienced um, player, and then followed by, I think, myself and, and Timber. So, and I've played 50 odd test matches, and everyone else has hasn't played much. So it's, it's, it can get frustrating as well. And we, when I say frustrating, uh, I don't mean to single out the batters. I mean, it's frustrating as a team. Um, and you almost have to understand that sometimes this is what happens in a rebuilding phase. Although, you know, we've played in a team with a star-studded lineup where you're literally playing with greats of the game. I don't think that happens uh, quite frequently, if you ask me. And now the situation that we're faced with, um, there's just a whole lot of players who've, uh, who've come in, who have the ability, but need to get used to the international uh, uh, circuit. So um, it, there, needs, there needs to be an element of patience and understanding, but at the same time, um, you, you can't, you know, be advocating for bad performances. Um, however, we're quite positive. Do you feel like you've got David Warner's measure? You've got him at here twice during this test and following on from this success, success in 2018? No comment. A lot of the time, yeah, we do have plans. I mean, uh, it wouldn't be a plan if I, if I gave it away. But generally, um, cricket is a simple game, generally. Uh, the good old cliche, top of off and the odd bouncer. But yeah, with the amount of analysis these days, um, there are specific plans for certain players, most definitely. 
but obviously I can't uh, tell you about them. Well, uh, the one thing that we possess as South Africans and as a South African team and what South African teams have always possessed is that we will never go down without a fight. Although Australia needed 34 runs, um, getting a whole lot of stick from the crowd, but we, we've come out here to play. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter what the situation is, we'll always um, go down fighting. And that's what we tried to do out, out there today. Well, the one, th the one factor is belief. You have to have the belief, first of all. If we don't have the belief, then I don't think uh, we'd be able to go out and produce performances like we have, especially in the past as well. Um, so that would be the first factor. And also we understand that no one's going out to the center of the wicket looking to throw their wicket away. Um, you have to understand that, but I would say it's all down to belief, and I think we have the belief. He's an X-Factor bowler, and he's just so natural, natural bowler. When you just watch him bowl, it's like um, he, he could wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and just do what he did um, in the first innings. Uh, he didn't get a chance to bowl now, but he's extremely natural. He's gifted. Um, he's got height. Um, he's got pace. He's got bounce. He can swing the ball, can nip the ball. What more do you want? And he's a lefty. It's pretty rare. So um, he's an exciting prospect. He's got the mindset as well for fast bowling, which not a lot of people really possess. And he's got it.